I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. What? God's a gardener? Well, sort of. Well, that's what it says in John, that God is a gardener. And to display this, let's go find a tree. So, this is a bit different to a vine, but hopefully you'll get the idea. What the Bible is saying is that Jesus is, uh, well, in this respect, the trunk, or what grows up. And here's the foundation. The branches, which are these things, that come off the main trunk, represent us. And the Bible says that we have a big part to play because we are connected to Jesus, just like the branches are connected to the trunk. Now, God, he comes along and he is the gardener, okay? He has some uh, really, really huge clippers. So, God's job is, well, yeah, his job is to take off any branch that doesn't bear fruit. They may think this is a bit harsh, you know, uh, if you're connected to Jesus, then what's the problem? But it goes deeper than that, because you can know Jesus, but by doing his work, that is the thing that bears fruit. So if you don't do his work, however, you still know Jesus, but you're not doing anything for his kingdom. And Jesus wants to be connected to us and us connected to him so much that we go and display his goodness, his glory, his power, his loving grace to others. When we do that, it says that we bear fruit. Uh, things like, if you've ever heard of fruit of the Holy Spirit. When our, the Holy Spirit is in our lives, we display that to everyone. It overwhelms us and it displays God in a brilliant way. So that's God's role. His role is to cut off any branch that does not bear fruit. And that is a bit of a warning to us because we need to make sure then that we are doing what Jesus says so that we can bear fruit, give God the glory and stay with God. Jesus. The great news is that he allows us to be in his kingdom. The branch is like his kingdom and we want to display that. And so when we're doing that, when we're following God, when we're speaking uh, out goodness and bearing fruit, it is glorious to God and it gives hope to others. Now, you can do that, you can bear fruit in so many different ways. Bearing fruit means that your words uh, speak to others so that uh, we share our faith, uh, we share love and encouragement to people. We display Jesus through our actions, how we love each other, how we give to the poor. We display Jesus and bear fruit through what we do with our time, how we keep Sundays special, how we show others what we are doing with our time and putting God first. And it can also mean uh, with our thoughts as well, showing God that he is most important in our mind, in our hearts and in our lives. Those are some ways that we can show that we bear fruit, that we belong in God's kingdom, that we display to the world the goodness of God, and we show God that he is uh, the one and only person, saviour in our lives. So just to recap then, the trunk is Jesus. He is our foundation. 
He is the one that is rooted and he is the one where life comes from. We are the branches. We're, if we are connected to Jesus, we have life. And that is so good. If we have life and have Jesus in our lives, we will bear fruit, display it to others. And God is the gardener. He is the one who sees it, who loves the people who are doing it, showing his goodness. And he takes away anything that is bad from his kingdom, making sure that we can stay holy. If there is bad things in his kingdom, in his church, then it affects us as well as it affecting God. So therefore, he comes, he conquers, and he loves us. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you that uh, you show us that your goodness. I thank you that you care for us. I thank you that you are the trunk, you are strong and you are powerful, Jesus. Uh, I thank you that uh, you love us and that um, you'd help us to bear much fruit in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.